Guys, uh, so today I am going to do an unboxing of all the parts that I am going to need to make a motorsports spec wiring harness um, for this race car that I'm building this for. Today will just be the parts. Um, I'm just going to kind of explain what they are, why I'm using them, that kind of deal. And I'm going to have some videos down the road talking about planning and concentric twisting and that kind of stuff. Let's get after it. All right, so I have uh, here four companies that I've ordered from. Um, one is Race Spec, the other is ProWire USA, uh, Mauser, and then the Deutsche Connector Store.com. Um, so first and foremost, uh, this is the ECU connector that I'll be using. We're using a link, um, engine management system, uh, specifically the GDI for direct injection. Uh, this is an amp super seal connector. Uh, they're great. They use them on Motex and everything too. Um, <clears throat> I'm also building a, a harness for a Ferrari 308 and this is kind of the start of it, but this, these parts are for another, um, uh, another car. That's actually a Nissan Juke, but it's kind of weird, but. It's fine. Um, so uh, I'm starting with, uh, these are Little Fuse, um, Universal Fuse Blocks. Um, so they come with like a cap. They, you can put the terminals wherever you want and then put relays or fuses in them. Um, I just kind of use these for uh, ECU power or something like that. They're nice weather sealed. They got seals that go in here and they got blanking plugs as well. Uh, so I have those. Um, these are from the Deutsch, uh, well, these are actually from TE.com, so that's a, that's a lie, but these are bust Deutsch DT, DT connectors. Um, so they, I'm hopefully a little focus on this here. You can see that there is sections that are bust together, so they're all tied together, so you can branch powers and grounds or whatever you need to off of these. Pretty slick setup. Um, I'll talk more about that in, in an upcoming video. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, this is this is the first one. This is from Ballinger. I think this is a single connector or two connectors. Um, we'll kind of go in order of excitement, maybe. <laughs> yeah, these are just a couple Nissan sensors. Uh, I believe these are for the map sensors. Um, so they are kind of Nissan specific. I'm not sure what brand, maybe Sumitomo. Um, and it comes with pins and seals, as you can see, as I drop them everywhere. <laughs> um, so that's that. Um, let's see, let's do the Deutsch connectors. Uh, I just ordered a bunch of these. So I ordered a bunch of two and three pin connectors. Um, and I'll kind of go over these again more in detail um, in later videos, why I order the ones I order and kind of how I use them in the harness and stuff like that. But that's that. Um, okay, so this is from ProWire USA. I order a lot of stuff from ProWire USA. Um, I order most of my wire from there and a couple other places, but um, let's do this. All right, so there we go. This is shielded conductor wire. Um, so it has two uh, 18 gauge conductors, like normal um, military specification M2, uh, M22579. I think I said that in the right order. Um, conductor and then a shielded and then sheathing over top of that so again i'll explain more about why i'm using this what i'm using it for in the harness but that's that um these are all your standard raycam dr2 uh dr25s uh, i got them in various sizes there's kind of a lot of uh a lot of stuff in this harness um so that's that um this is I'm also doing some battery cabling in this car. So uh, this is like some super nice um, heavy duty battery cage gauge. You can see that it has like dual wall insulation and it's a ton of fine braids. Again, I'll go over uh, battery harness construction as well. You can see it got red and black, power and ground. 
you know, got to do what you got to do. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see here for a second. This. Okay. This guy. This is actually an epoxy application gun. Um, these are the tips for it. And here's the resin RT125. Um, it's kind of, you can use it to pot or you can use it to seal up connectors and boots. This thing is gonna have Raychem boots on it. Um, that's one thing I don't have here yet because I don't quite have the entire harness planned out, but I wanted to show you guys the stuff. So this is the Resin Tech application gun. Um, it, um, you gotta put it together, but, which I've never done, <laughs> but I've used it in the past. Um, but you put the, you put the resin tech thing on here and you squeeze it out that way so that you can use it progressively. Um, let's see here. All right. Now as we get into the cool stuff here. Um, these are the Deutsch Autosport connectors. Um, which are pretty awesome. Um, let's see here, hopefully I ordered the right stuff. <laughs> oh man. Um, this is a 61 pin, I believe, auto sport connector. Um, yeah, okay, so, um, yeah, these uh, obviously are top of the line stuff. Um, pretty freaking slick. Um, I'll kind of go over these features and why we use these in motorsports um, and kind of explain to you how they function because this is one of my first times using these as well. Um, and so I just locked it and I'm not quite sure how to unlock it. Oh, there we go. Just a little pressure. Um, so yeah, so and then there's obviously the pins and the removal tools for them. I'll go over crimping and kind of my tooling that I have and everything like that in a future video too. So those are those. We'll set these out in front because they're cool. Um, more pins and stuff. Um, these are actually, uh, these are pretty cool. They are the housing. Uh, you can secure the housings with these to like a plate for your firewall or whatever. These are actually really cool too. They're mini uh, stub splices. So... Uh, they're like your open barrel unslate connector, but they're not super huge. So super low profile, super slim. Um, also have some blanking plugs for the unused pins um, in those terminals. Uh, so that is all for ProWire. On to the race spec orders. Um, Gave me a baby Yoda sticker. That's kind of fun. Um, I have some more Nissan connectors here, Nissan specific stuff for the injectors and the math and the ignition coils, um, and then just kind of general sensors. There's quite a few of those in that. Um, these are pretty cool. These are made by Race Grade. Um, they are back shells for those ECU connectors that I was showing you earlier. Um, so let's see if I can not tear everything apart here. Um, yeah, so these go on the back of these uh, connectors so that you can use a heat shrink boot on the back side so your harness is fully sealed. Um, so that's pretty cool. I will uh, obviously be showing you how to install these um, in a future video. Um, <clears throat> so those are those. I got two of those for the Link ECU. Um, and then this this bad lad is uh, kind of serious business, I guess. I was talking to Joel over at um, Race Spec. Uh, shout out to Joel. He was definitely awesome in his customer service. Um, I had actually ordered the wrong parts and he called me up and was like, hey man, I just wanted to confirm that all your parts were good. You know, this is what you wanted. And I was like, oh, that's no, actually I don't. Um, you can see that these are larger gauge terminals in here. Um, they are 16 gauge, so they handle a lot more amperage, up to 20 amps per pin. Um, and they are 
uh, 21 of them in here, I believe. Um, and so these are gonna be handling the direct injection circuits um, and the ignition coil powers um, so that you can still use an, an, an auto sports connector and uh, you don't have to do something else, you know. So these are gonna be kind of side by side on the firewall. Um, and yeah, then they have, you know, the removal tools. Oh, there's actually pins and stuff and everything too. Huh. I didn't actually know these came with pins, so. <laughs> There, uh, I'll have some, I have some extras, but, uh, one more box here. I'm not actually sure what's in this one because I thought everything was in those. Oh, yes. Okay. These are, these are from, um, these are from Mauser. These are pretty cool. So these are battery cable pass-throughs, um, but they're like quick disconnect on one side. Um, so these are from Mauser. Um, they are called Radlock connectors. Um, and they are used to uh, pass like a battery, battery cable through a firewall. Um, and they're quick to disconnect on one side. So one side has a screw terminal for you know your typical battery cable lug and you got a nut on it. And then this other side is a quick disconnect. So it just slides on here, snaps on, totally secure, good to go. I think they have ones that handle like up to like 250 amps or something crazy. And then they just pop out, you know. So not only do you have your entire harness Come through the firewall, but you also have your main power and ground, like your few batteries in the back. You got your main power and ground coming through. So, say you're working on something in the engine bay. Let's say, you know, something happens, whatever, and you gotta you gotta pull power. You know, you don't have to go onto the back of the car, pull power out. You know, do the whole thing. You can just tool this removal, grab it, grab the battery cable, pop it off. You're good to go. There's no more power in the engine bay. So, uh, I'm pretty pumped to use these two. Um, this is kind of my first like super spec harness that I'm building. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a kind of a series of videos on motorsports wiring. Um, and I'm not a professional in the sense that I've worked for a race team or, you know, done stuff like that. I've done this at a shop, but um, it's essentially all self-taught from just doing a bunch of research and um, a lot of reading. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, will check out my, the rest of my videos and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you later.